Talofa and welcome back to our channel. Malo. Today we have a tour of the market. The market. I just went down and asked some Samoan young lads who told me it's pronounced Fungalua. So I wouldn't say it like that, but that's how we say it. Fungalua market. So very popular market, not far away from the centre. Well, it is in the centre of Apia, really. Um, if you arrive by a boat or something, it's only like, what, a five minute walk? Yeah, about that. But it's very easy to find and it's full of fruit and um, goods and... Lava lavas and craft. wood carvings and it's got everything. So if you've seen us before, welcome back. And to those new viewers, check out our other videos. But here we go with our tour of the market. Yeah, have a look around. We're going to um, catch you up on a few things that we've been up to apart from just the markets. So you guys have a look around. Those um, bunch of bananas are anywhere from three tala to five tala, um, which is extraordinary value. Yeah, so there's one end, there's like a heap of fruit and vegetables, cucumbers, coconuts. Taro. Uh, oh, th those bags are full of charcoal for fires, because everything's wet here. So. Yeah, so you got uh, uh, tipolo, so, uh, and, and is it malo? Um, so, Moly, sorry, tipolo lemon and moly orange, and there's some carrots there. Lots of bok choy. Are they taro chips? Taro chips. Oh, look, that's a durian. I've never tried durian. I don't think I could get over the smell of it. Yeah, I know. I've seen. Have you not tried it? No. Oh. Bags of pineapples. How Ooh. cute are they? Pineapples, pineapples, so oh. beautiful. Oh, the pineapples here are amazing. When we first got to Samoa, there were mangoes on the trees everywhere, but now they've gone. Oh. <laughs> but apparently, we'll get them again soon in like eight months' time. Ah, soon, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. There's some beautiful um, earrings and necklaces. I mean, these go for. Anywhere from like five tala to I think they are mainly five tala, yeah. seven tala, which you know what's that? Three Australian yeah. dollars for all that amount of work that's gone into them. They're beautiful. Sometimes they're like you know three for twenty tala, but there's just so many earrings, bracelets, all handicraft stuff. Just beautiful. Look at the turtles and the amount of work that's gone into it. So in the middle section, there's all like little shops yeah little shops there's barbers and you can buy some you know hot food and some sandwiches and stuff there's little there's tailors like there's, yeah, there is. there's yeah. sewing tailors there's tailors and what are, what are the ladies called so sewers Seam and stress? seamstresses that are doing dresses and stuff i think there was even a tattoo studio in there at one stage yeah and then in the center section you've got people selling fresh food like oh there goes that sia sia yeah i had a good look at that there was some sia there which is i've mentioned last video um and i think there's some palasami there and there's some there, fai -ia. Fai -ia there was if you haven't had palasami when you come to samoa you've got to have it so it's uh the taro leaf cooked with coconut cream yeah. so in the Umu, hopefully and we had some palasami last weekend and i was just watching uh jamali tv again shout out i was watching them the other day and they were saying how if you have palasami and it makes your throat itchy it means that it wasn't cooked properly and unfortunately we had palasami the other day and you wouldn't believe it the first time our throat was itchy and i yeah. knew why and i had no idea i thought that like i was getting sick or something because james was in the shop but then he came back in and said she'll throat itchy so there you go, there's one to look out for. It's not poisonous or anything, but yeah, it just, just means apparently that, um, yeah, it wasn't cooked properly or cooked long enough, I believe. A lot of these dresses and stuff are like hand printed. So I think even later we even show you that they have the, what do they call the printing? Like the, frames. yeah, um, like the screen printing. Patterns, yeah, like yeah, they do them out of, um, they quite often do them out of the old um, x-rays and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I think I show some x-rays and I think I show some foam board that they've used for the printing. So just checking out the materials. Some of the materials haven't been washed and some are a bit harsh. Um, you know, there's all different quality materials, so we're having a good feel of them. And you've got to watch out because some of them are like nylon and quite heavy and that's not exactly what you want to wear in a tropical country. I tell you what, these all these stalls, there would be maybe about 10 rows of stalls jammed together and 
you know, every day in Samoa is hot, but some more than others, obviously. And when you're in there, it is so hot. So make sure you take water and a fan. Um, and shop around because, like, they will give you different prices. Oh, these guys were keen to be on camera. They were very excited that we were here volunteering. <laughs> I think his name was Kobe. Um, no, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, so, for instance, uh, I went to buy a singlet that was pretty poor quality, but I didn't mind too much. It was a Samoan singlet, and they wanted um, 50 tala, um, and then I found a heaps better quality singlet um, and with the Samoan emblem on it, and um, it was 35 tala, so yeah, shop around. That's the headdresses they wear um, for the Ava ceremony. Is it for Ava? Ava. Yeah, well, Ava's the drinking the Ava. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's what the girls wear to do, to do the mixing, the oh. chief's daughter. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we saw it once at a Fia Fia at night. At a Fia Fia night, yeah, at the traditional hotel, yeah. I would imagine. We'll, we'll put a video of that up because we want to do that. Yeah, we should do that soon. We've got a friend coming over from Australia um, next week. Um, so we're thinking about taking her to a Fia Fia. We sh certainly should. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, and we'll get a video of that. We're also going over to um, Savai next week, so there'll be some more Savai videos coming up, which is exciting. Yeah, we're going back to vacations. And spending some time at Manassi. I think I walk off here because James decides that he's going to buy the singlet. I was, yeah, I was trying to barter. Was this the bloke? He uh, I, think he, I think you go back to him. Yeah, I'll go back to him. Oh, there's the giant arm bowls. We've yeah. got one of those at home on our kitchen bench for our fruit. Yeah, I think he wanted, I think it was about 350 tala, so... You know, what are you looking at? Maybe 200 Here he is, about $200 Aussie dollars. I thought that giant one was $1,000. No. The $200 ones were smaller, weren't they? Oh, were they? But yeah. anyway, I mean, it was it's quite reasonable. I don't think it was 1000 but anyway, they're quite reasonable. Can imagine the amount of time that goes into it. So here's this chap. Oh, look, here. that's the singlet you bought. That is the singlet I bought. I'm sussing it out thinking, mm, should I, should I not? It looks good on him. Yeah, he did. it is nice. Spoiler alert, he bought it. So the carvings? Yeah, he said 35 Tyler. I said 30. He goes, no, 35. I said, how about 30? He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I am the cheapest in here. And I walked around and he was the cheapest in there. So there's a fair few empty stalls this time. But I think we went like on a Monday or something. Here we go, Mr. Negotiation. Yeah, he's still negotiating and he still doesn't decide. He comes back later. Uh -huh. There's just so there's clothes and clothes and clothes and earrings and handbags and beads and... And look, everyone's really friendly too. They're not like jumping on you. Like people might say, you know, oh, what about this or what about that? But they're not harassing you. Like, you know, you might imagine in other countries where people are, you know, just throwing goods in front of you and demanding you buy. And Yeah, if you say no, they just take it as a no. Or in Samoan, what's no? Uh, lay ai lay ai lay ai papa tai. <laughs> it's getting pretty good at say, saying that to the um, lava lava sellers on the street. The emergency lava lavas, we call them. <laughs> Everywhere you pull up at a shirt, you'll have someone come up with a stack of lava lavas and say would you like you know lava lava tentala um they're really good and i did buy one but they're not necessarily the best quality um material and or hemmed correctly but um for tentala like seven aussie dollars uh if you need an emergency lava lava you can have one actually i'm wearing it today you can see the red one is my uh tentala lava lava when you go to the shops and realize you've got like your tights or your footy shorts on and you actually <laughs> probably should cover up before you walk into the shops. Yeah, just sit in the car for another second or two and you'll see an emergency lava lava seller. <laughs> As a culture, Samoans tend to be quite uh, modest. So we, you know, we try not to walk around with, you know, too much showing. Yeah, I think it's um, very important to be respectful of the culture. Um, though I must say over the years of um, returning to Samoa, there's a lot more shorts um, in Samoa than um, there ever has been. I was saying to Paula yesterday, I was somewhere the other day, I think I went and renewed my license and I was the only person in the in the license, in the LTA with uh, Lava Lava on. <laughs> and it was about six Samoan gents around me and they all had shorts on. I thought, 
Hmm, this is a little bit weird. I'm a Palangi with a lava lava and all the Samoans have got shorts. <laughs> Uh, but I must say, they're comfy. They're really comfy. I like the lava lavas, and I mean, I've got a pair of footy shorts under them. I didn't realise until this trip that you're supposed to wear shorts under them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a lava lava emergency. Oh, a lava lava accident. What'd you have? Oh, yeah. I had, you had one yesterday. Yeah, I had a lava lava blowout yesterday. <laughs> I was walking out with um, a pizza we'd bought for lunch, and my lava lava decided to come untied. <laughs> Fell off onto the ground. Lucky I had shorts on. Oh, look, see, they're the x-rays. There they are. And so they use them as a, a printing screen. Stencil. Stencil, that's the word. I uh, knew it. It just come to me. Jeez. This is the... The um, market's a great place to get your fan too. I think they were about ten dollar. Fans are great. I mean, you need a fan. I tell you, like, yeah, we use them in school all the time. You, when you're on the ferry, like when you're in church. Oh my God, when you're in church, they're so important. <laughs> Did we mention that summer was hot? <laughs> a little bit. Little bracelets. Same style. And like goodies to send home and that like the first visit I think the first or second visit we had here I got some earrings for people um, and my mother hello Sharon she um, wears her earrings all the time she loves them look at you having a little dance there was I yeah. oh they had some music on yeah so there's like hair flowers flowers in the hair are really huge over here hair flowers, flowers. I like flowers made of hair no they're flowers with what are they made of like some some of them are Star rubber. Phone and oh yeah, rubber and yeah. Well, some of them are rubber. We saved one off the road the other day. Remember? Yeah. You've got a blue one that was on the road, so we picked it up. And you put it in your hair. It was made of like rubber. Oh, you like that hat, but you think the sun would get through it. Oh, uh, was it a netty? Oh, yeah. yeah. I really like that hat. Yeah, but it, yeah, it would have burnt my head. The red beads. The red beads are. They have different meanings, but generally they're um, associated with like matai and traditional stuff. Um, so yeah, you kind of need to like really have permission to wear them. I believe I'm not a hundred percent correct. I was given a set of red beads the last time we were here by a Matai. Um, and I have worn them a couple of times, but not in Samoa. There's the flowers. Oh yeah. And the the black beads, I believe again, are for like orators. So they're people. There they are. They're for people that um, uh, are like the speakers in the community. So again, don't take it as gospel, guys. I'm um, I'm trying to learn this stuff. As you can see, there's just the same stuff, but slightly different at every store. Same, same, but different. <laughs> Everyone was keen to, you know, like have a chat and say, you know, hello. Oh, I think we find something very, very special in a minute. Do we? Yes, I think so. We've been looking for it forever. Oh, no, that's down the other end. No, the other, oh. the other end, no one was at the other we end, did. remember, and we couldn't buy it because there was no one manning the stall. Yeah, but I don't know if I've cut it out or not. Oh, I hope not. If you have... Those little, those little dog tags were, like, made out of recycled plastic, weren't they? They were. I bought a lava lava from here. A really nice silky one with uh, Ta'ao Samoa. Um, black one with like um, silver writing. I really like it. It's my fancy lava lava. I think I see you walking around with it in the bag just there. Oh yeah, I've already bought it. Yeah. So it was 15 tala, so it was brilliant for you know, five tala more than my emergency one, but it's a bit, you know, rough. There's just so many earrings of every pattern you can imagine. I'm pretty sure that they're um, coconut shell. I think so too, yes. Yeah, polished up coconut shell. And those ones are bone? They are bone, yeah. You'll find it's pretty hard, like the shark's teeth and all that kind of stuff. You, it's pretty hard to find the shark's teeth. Generally, it's bone. That, that's some more of the recycled plastic. Yeah, yeah. There was, there was some um, good use. That, that one there, because I actually had one last time in Samoa. I had one with um, a hook, like a Maui hook with... Um, did it have J on it or Jimmy or something? I can't yeah. remember. But I, it got the, um, they're normally on a bit of leather, which isn't ideal, I don't think. Uh, I think they're pretty cheap. They no, are. More dresses, more, sh I don't know if they're real sharks, teeth. No, you bone. Bone? It's quite squeezy through there, like, you know, you, it's cosy. People want to have a chat and see what you're up to and 
what have you. And you know, if if we feel like you know telling people that we're volunteering, um, generally, you know, Samoan people are very very appreciative of us coming over and. We always say, like, you know, we're getting as much out of this as we're giving, so um, thank you, And but we really enjoy being part of your culture, so. Yeah, we're so lucky to be experiencing this, you know. Shout out to all those Samoans overseas who, you know, are uh, feeling a bit homesick watching this stuff. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to leave in some respects. I mean, you know, it's going to be good to be home and see the kids, the grandkids and stuff, but... um. Yeah, it's a different lifestyle in Samoa. Yeah, it's definitely much less stressful, even if it is hot. Yeah, it could cool down a couple of degrees. <laughs> <laughs> We're still living without air conditioning. Yeah, that young fella was asking me a few questions. Having a chat. There's a big conch shell there. I don't know if I actually looked at that. I was looking at the coasters, because we need some coasters for home. It was funny, we saw um, uh, some, you know, Palangi walking along the street yesterday. Pig, pig. That was only 15 tala, I believe. It was a cute. I mean, you think about the carving that out and then, you know, doing the, the markings on it for 15 tala. I mean, that's cheap as. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were, we were driving along the street and we saw some Palangi walking along the street, um, as you do, and you kind of look at them because it's like, oh, you know. Um, anyway, they, you can tell kind of you think you can tell by the way people walk um, whether they've been in Samoa a long time or whether they're living in Samoa or whether they're actually tourists can't you you like, can you can tell the difference or you even get like the cruise ship cruise ship visitors because they stick out because they're usually running packs with the, the little tag uh, around their neck the tag <laughs> around their neck I mean we've done that ourselves we are we've, we've we been love over it. to um, Vanuatu and stuff here we go here we go is this it uh, uh, Here, they uh, yeah. Here they are! We've been searching forever and we finally found beer coasters. And I cut out the bit where we're buying it. Beer coolers, they were. She wanted 10 tala each, and I asked her if we could have two for 15, and she agreed. Um, so you know, there's a little bit of bartering, a little bit of, you can do a bit of haggling here. It's nothing like, you know, you might think like India or something where it's expected. Thailand, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll just say no. Yes or no. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, the economy or the wages are very low um, in Samoa and you don't want to rip Samoans off. So, you And know. generally they don't try and rip you off, no, really. No, they don't. So, And the prices are reasonable anyway. So I asked her, how does she said no? I would have paid the 20, but she was quite happy with that, so that was fine. Saved myself five tala to get some um, super povi or, or, or vitipolo. Vitipolo? <laughs> <laughs> He's turning into a real Samoan now. Oh, I just know the food and drinks that I like. I think I kept coming back to that one. You did. I was trying to convince you to buy it, but you said no. Yeah, maybe I've changed my mind. Maybe we need to go back to the markets. So what else have we been doing in life, darling, while they're looking at this? Uh... Oh, yesterday we watched Don Bosco turn over their boat um, for the big boat race. Yeah, I think I'll have to do like a school video for everyone. Yeah, we will. Um, so they literally pulled out this boat. They looked like a caterpillar. There was about 50 kids each side of the boat. The boat would have to be, oh, I'd be guessing, but the boat would have to be about 35 metres long, 40 metres long. I don't know. No, it wouldn't be that long, surely. I'm not good at estimating. It'd probably be about 30 metres, maybe, something like It was massive. Like, I think it seats like 50 people, around 50 people. So they pulled it out of the shed near the water and it had to come all the way out and go across the main road and stop traffic. And all the kids like caterpillar legs beside <laughs> the boat. Then they had to flip it over and like and hold it while the guys grab the other side and then they put it back into the shed i suppose they like they're getting it ready or you know it's got to maybe dry that side i'm not sure but then they put it back into the shed because the race is in may i believe yeah we'll definitely make a video of that one because i believe there's only four i think he's back here buying his shirt now yeah um 
there's only four boats in the race. There is only four boats. And it was in the Samoan Observer the other day. So we're really lucky that Don Bosco's got a boat in it. So um, yeah, and we're part of that. So we'll be, um, we're not rowing, but we're just like no. the cheer squad. <laughs> so we'll be filming that and um, and sending it out too, because it's a really exciting time. Oh, I think yeah. it's for the 60th anniversary of Independence. I believe so. I'll be getting the drone up on that one. That'll be great. Ooh. That'll be cool. I'm excited. Yeah, so and everything else is going well. Teaching's going well. Yeah. We think our students are really getting our subject really well. We think we're doing doing a good job. Which is always great, but, you know, there are a lot of mysteries in Samoa. Mysteries? What mysteries? <laughs> uh, Mr. Jimmy has a lovely story about going to buy beer. So I went and bought beer the other day, and um, the lady wrapped it up for a case of beer, um, single price times 24. And it came to 79 tala and 20 centi, okay? And I said, oh, you know, you did that single in. She goes, yeah. And I said, well, surely it's cheaper by the case, you know? I'll go and have a look at the price on the wall. And she said, no, no, I can do it on the computer. So she looks on the computer and it was 80, let's say 82 tala to buy it by the case. And I was like, but that's dearer. <laughs> oh, sorry, what did you say? Yes, you were right. Ah, amazing. <laughs> I just had to get that on tape because it's not often it happens he says that. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, so I said to the lady, well, I'll have 24 singles, please. <laughs> And the manager was like, well, and I'm like, well, it's cheaper. Like, you know, so that's just one of the mysteries of Samoa. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's funny. Uh, you're going to love it. <laughs> we're still trying to figure a lot of stuff out. But yeah, so apparently we were better off to buy our beers in singles. <laughs> Those guys were playing checkers with uh, bottle tops. Yeah, yeah. Um, they use the white and blue um, water bottle tops. It looks like you bought something else there. What did we buy? Just the um, the singlet oh. and the things and the beer coolers. Oh, I think. Do we stop and buy some bananas? Bananas. I think we get bananas on the way out. Oh yeah, we go and see our friend. Remember, we go and yeah. see. Yeah. So we've got a regular lady that we go and see. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, and tune in. Remember to subscribe. More videos coming, Black Beach. Ooh, that's exciting, and we'll be making some. Savoy video soon. Hi, subscribe. Hope you have a great day. Bye.